Serratus anterior muscle. The serratus anterior muscle originate on the superior lateral surface of the upper eight or nine ribs. Here you can see the origin of the serratus anterior. The serratus anterior muscle inserts into the medial border on the anterior side of the scapula. Here you can see the insertion of the serratus anterior muscle. And here you can see the course of the muscle. The serratus anterior muscle is divided into three parts. The superior part, intermediate part, and inferior part. The serratus anterior muscle is the most powerful protractor of the scapula. The scapula is moved laterally and anteriorly along the chest wall. The muscle is sometimes called the boxer's muscle or the big swing muscle. With the same motion that occurs from throwing a punch, the serratus anterior muscle is responsible for pulling of the scapula forward and around the rib cage. The serratus anterior muscle is innervated by the long thoracic nerve. The long thoracic nerve arises from three nerve roots, C5, C6, and C7, cervical nerve roots. Here is a diagram representing the long thoracic nerve and the origin from the three nerve roots, C5, C6, and C7. The long thoracic nerve then passes between the clavicle and the first rep, then down along the lateral chest wall, giving innervation to the serratus anterior muscle. Deficit of the serratus anterior muscle is most commonly caused due to impingement or injury of the long thoracic nerve. If the serratus anterior muscle becomes paralyzed, the condition is known as medial winging of the scapula. The long thoracic nerve can be injured by trauma, pressure, neuritis and inflammation, and by surgery. What are the signs and symptoms of long thoracic nerve injury? Medial winging of the scapula. Difficulty in elevating the arm. Weakness. Pain, spasms, periscapular muscle trying to compensate for the deformity, and also the winging can give us a cosmetic deformity. Clinical evaluation test for medial winging of the scapula, the wall test. The patient is asked to face the wall, standing about two feet from the wall and then push against the wall with flat palms at the waist level in order to identify a long thoracic nerve injury. Another test called resistance of forward flexion test. This is the resisted forward flexion test in which the patient resists the examiner's attempt to bring down the forward flexed upper limbs. Lateral winging of the scapula is different from medial winging of the scapula. Lateral winging of the scapula is due to dysfunction of the trapezius muscle. It involves injury to the spinal accessory nerve. Here you can see the difference between the two types of winging of the scapula, the lateral winging of the scapula and the medial winging of the scapula. You can see that the lateral winging of the scapula occurs in trapezius palsy and the medial winging of the scapula occurs in serratus anterior palsy. You can also see the difference in the position of the scapula itself. 
treatment of medial winging of the scapula, non-operative, observation for a minimal of 18 months, wait for the nerve to recover without surgery. You can do MRI to see if there is a lesion that is pressing on the nerve. You do muscle test and EMG. You can do serratus anterior strengthening and physiotherapy. The operative, you will do pectoralis major transfer. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.